What up, what up? Welcome to the first official episode of Stay Real with your host, Mike and Tom. And today we figured that we'd start off telling you a little bit about how we met and, you know, what led us kind of to write this moment. Not everything, because we'd be here for like a week, but, you know, like... How I met your mother. Exactly. So, we might as well just get into it, right? Why waste any time at all? So, for me to tell you... So, we met at um, a place we used to work at. Now, we used to... like Tom, Well, Tom's in New Jersey right now. And uh, I used to live there. I have been out of there since 2007. Uh, but that's where I lived for my whole life up to that point. And uh, we met at a little place uh, called Hoboken Floors. Now, we both <laughs> worked there delivering hardwood floor. Now, I'm gonna t- I-, I need to tell you how I wound up there for you to really appreciate how we met. So there used to be, okay, so the people from New Jersey, they know uh, Paramus uh, Garden State Plaza. Everybody knows what that is if you lived in Jersey. I don't know if they call it, what do they call it now? Is it uh, called they some? still call it that. They still call okay. it the plaza. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, now it's now, it's all formal now. It's the plaza. It's the plaza. Yeah, because now everyone's talking about American Dream up the street for me. I John, yeah. uh, MetLife Stadium. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. Um, years ago, there was a store in there. It, it was kind of like a sci-fi comic book store. It was called Starlog. There used to be a magazine called Starlog. And, and, and there was a store there. And I went in there at the time to try to find some Venom comics. Okay? Now... I'm sure at this point, everybody knows who Venom is at this point. Back then, maybe not as many. But you would think if you worked in a comic book store, you would know who Venom was. And I mean, maybe I'm expecting too much, but you would think, right? So this guy comes up to me and he's like, hey, how are you doing today? I'm like, I'm all right, man. I'm all right. He's like, is there anything I can help you with? And I said, uh, "Yeah, you have any? <laughs> you have any Venom comics here?" Now he didn't swear when he said it because he was working, but it's so much better when you swear with it. So <laughs> basically, what he said was, "Who the fuck is Venom?" <laughs> <laughs> now at that point, I was like, "Oh man, maybe it's his first day. Maybe he doesn't <laughs> realize it." So I was like. Is there a manager here? And he said, I am the manager. <laughs> At that point, I decided to leave. <laughs> so I left. Really? You I, left? Yeah, I left. Uh, <laughs> Why was I going to stay? <laughs> it's, like going to a, it's like going to a dealership to get your car repaired. They're like, what the fuck is a wheel? It's like, are you staying there? You're leaving, nope. dude. So, so, I, voice. <laughs> so I left. So then <laughs> I go to, I, I can't remember what the name of the comic book convention was, but obviously it was in New Jersey. It was over in Secaucus. <laughs> it's in Secaucus. I, I don't remember which one it was, but Stan Lee was there. I got Stan Lee's autograph there. And oh, um, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. You I met him bastard. once. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm walking around there with my girlfriend at the time, and all of a sudden I hear, "Yeah!" I look and it's him. He's there with his <laughs> wife. The guy that didn't know who Venom was that worked at Starlog <clears throat> is now yelling yeah. for me at the comic book convention. So I, I, I'm not a jerk <laughs> I went up and I'm like talking to him. He's like, hey, and he's talking to me. 
like I've known him for 30 years and I haven't seen him in two years. <laughs> that, yeah, was he manning the, the Spider-Man? Fire. Was he manning the Spider-Man booth? <laughs> no. Like I don't even remember. No. Like all he liked was the Hulk. That's all he knew. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, there you go. Be, That's why I don't know Venom. Right. Who the so fuck I think he is just, Venom? I think he just got some Hulk comics or something. Does he got but, gamma rays? So 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 <laughs> from that point on, me and Goods became friends at that point on. Yeah. Through many years I've come to find out what kind of person he is. And at some point, I'm sure we'll talk more stories. But for now, all you need to know is I met him. We became friends. I needed a job. He was working for a wood floor company called Hoboken Floors in Wayne, New Jersey. He <laughs> said, come, <laughs> come and, and fill out an application. So I don't know if you know this. You might, I might have told you. You might not remember. But. He says, just come, I'll like I'll call you. I'll like I'll ask him if there's an opening, and then you just come fill it out and they'll talk to you, blah, blah, blah. So I go there to fill it out. And I'm like, this is simple. I'm I'm in. This is easy. I got no worries. I walk up to the <laughs> receptionist at front desk. Who's the receptionist at the front desk? A girl that I knew when I used to jam in Bloom Bloomingdale with my old band that had a crush on me that I totally dissed. And that's who I had to go get the application from. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, it was terrible, dude. It was terrible. Because oh. I acted like, oh, hey, what are you doing? But it, I, I wasn't like I did. I never gave her an impression I wanted. I, you know what I mean? I didn't want to be with her. It wasn't like I gave her an yeah. impression I want to be with her and I dissed her. By no means. I wasn't interested. But, you know, that's yeah. uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Was he, she was a stage all, stage one clinic, stage one clinger or whatever from Wedding Crashers. Yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Yeah, see you later. Yeah, she used to come and watch us jam <laughs> and stare. I was like, yeah, this I don't feel comfortable. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Not anyways, good. but as I'm filling out the application, all of a sudden I hear, "Yeah, by the fat," and I see goods come out, and he's like talking to me for a minute, and, and blah blah blah. But long story short, I get the job. I start working there. I was a helper to the drivers that delivered the wood floor. So they were the drivers. They were the bosses. I was just a helper. I helped them deliver wherever it had to go. That was my job. There I met Tom. Tom, how did you get to Hoboken? <coughs> uh, let's see. Um... My apartment it was my first apartment I'd just gotten not that long ago. And this dude laid me off. I was painting. I was painting. I was a oh, I I remember that. subcontractor. I remember whatever. that. I yeah, remember you told yeah, me about that. I didn't dude, know you then, just, but. Yeah, but I mean, I had warehouse experience. Like, you know, I was in the work study program in high school. So, like, my senior year, I was basically ditching school at 12 and going to work in a warehouse over there. Uh, just cleaning up and doing bullshit, you know, not, nothing crazy. And then, um, basically I'm like, I'm just going to start filling out apps. I'm just going to, I'm in Lincoln park, which is right around the corner from Wayne off route 23, where I almost died once. And then um, represent? I <laughs> represent route 23, bro. It's still there too. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, so I was like, I'm basically walking in, filling out apps and, uh, you know, warehouse experience or whatever i guess that's what got me the job they're like all right you, know, you can carry wood you know you can deliver stuff you know help the driver unload the truck i'm like of course who can do who can't do that like no problem right you know it was like, a yeah, I paycheck, it. Yeah, yeah yeah i think that eventually the, or originally they were saying something about <clears throat> you could work in the warehouse and one day and one day go on the truck that never fucking happened that was all bullshit yeah, I was basically yeah. on the truck every day, just like Lots you and Goods, and it was just like broken floors, big promises, low delivery. <laughs> yeah, and then you go, they put you on a, they put you on a fucking truck that right in the picture, perfect picture, by the way, brother, perfect picture yeah. with our boy over there and Ray the Roach over there, and then fucking <laughs> look at all that wood. You come in and they're like, yeah, you got to help them take off all that wood <laughs> off of that truck. They're stacking it. Three pallets high. It looks like the fucking twin towers of wood. You're yeah. like, what the fuck is this shit? 
I, I got to carry it on my shoulders. So like, he didn't. He didn't have a helper that day either. I don't think. Oh yeah, he was probably going somewhere and like stealing a forklift from somewhere. He was crazy. <laughs> you know him. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> he probably pro pro promised him a bag of blow or something, and they uh, yo, yo, <laughs> yeah, this shit. <laughs> yo. Yo, I got you. I got you. It's all good. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah. That's what, so like he basically uh that's what I look at. I'm looking at this wood. I'm like, ah fuck. But all right, whatever. You know, you know, I'm I'm young at the time. I'm in a band, so I need money to fund my music habit. Exactly. And uh my music my musical uh, drug addiction. And then uh, you know, basically sitting in the parking lot in the morning, it's just like it's like the freaking, you know, the the Great Depression, or 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 the parking lot at your, or the parking lot at your local Home Depot where you go today, and you're just everyone's just standing around like, hey, yeah, you dude, need me? Like, hey, you need me? Yeah, yeah, hey, you pretty much. Me? Yeah, you're basically looking at someone like, yo, I want to go with this motherfucker because he always stops at this awesome bagel store, or oh, I gotta go with this guy because he always this guy sh shares his tips. That motherfucker keeps all the tips and puts them in his pocket and goes, ah, we didn't get nothing. Like you're getting stiffed by this asshole, but this guy's cool. And you're like, nah, nah, he ain't got nothing today. You got to go with this asshole. And you're like, so I'm sitting around there, and it all started because of a Megadeth t shirt. <laughs> I see you and Guts against the wall. You got the freaking four faces. Who was it? Nick Menza and Ma uh, Marty Friedman, see, Mustaine, and freaking Dave Ellison. It was a, that was a Countdown to Extinction album t shirt. I remember distinctly. Because the font and the freaking color was like dark bluish, silvery blue, like like Countdown to Extinction with the old man I, in the cover. <clears throat> like I was like, that's how that's how I remember it was from that era. I wish I remember. You don't remember that shirt? I don't know what it said on the back. Don't ask me. But I literally just it started with you wearing that shirt, and that's how I started and talking. My long I hair. Up to you, and like, I had, oh, nice I had, shirt. Oh yeah, had, your hair was long as fuck. Oh, mm -hmm. I miss it. I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I missed it. I missed my long hair too, but I got to a point where I think I got it to the man bun stage, yeah. and then I was just like, "Nah, I can't do it." <laughs> yeah, can't mine do was it. down to the my, back, middle of my back. I think is the longest I got. Oh yeah, yeah, that's about I, where I, it was. Yeah, and your shit was curly as fuck. If I do, I, it was wavy why I was, as fuck. I was at a. You look like Marty Friedman. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was at a, a restaurant with my ex girlfriend <laughs> at the time. And the waitress came from yeah. my behind me, and she's like, "What kind of get for you two ladies?" Yeah. I was like, "Excuse me," because I had such wavy, nice hair. <laughs> she thought I was a chick. What? Yeah. Wow. She thought I was a, a female. Yeah. Were, did she ask if you use Pantene Pro V or <laughs> do you use no. Neutrogena? I would die How do you get for that. It so now? silky smooth. <laughs> and now my son, my son has just that, which seems to be the style now, which I don't get, is that just that curly mop on the top of your head with boys. It's like that, that curly mop. Really? That's the yeah, style? My son's got, yeah, yeah, wow. for boys. Yeah. Yeah. So it might be like the Roblox. It all started with the Roblox bacon haired thing. <laughs> Dude, that I kept my son out of the <laughs> Roblox. He was Minecraft all the way. That might be <laughs> My well, Minecraft was the OG original, and then it went to Roblox. That oh, old man. what is it, eight bit bullshit? Yeah, dude, it's still going strong. Yeah, so that's how, that, that's how it started. That's how it started. Oh, he's doing yeah. what? What, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Minecraft. Awesome. So, um, awesome. So yeah, so we, so we started hanging out. Uh, we're, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna go into all the stories because they're good stories, and I like to get into those a little deeper. So. We went out one time, which we'll tell you about another time. Uh, we had a good time, and then we just wound up hanging. So we used to go um, and, you know, uh, get the devil's cabbage, sit in the house, up, uh, up in my room. I actually, my room was actually the whole attic of my father's house at the time. And it was, it was almost like I had my own apartment at the time. Which was good. Was it, sweet it, up there. I was far away from. Him. Good for that. So, yeah, we just would hang out up there. At the time, I had a. <laughs> I think. I think. I was. I had access to all the channels at the time. 
Uh, so we were able to watch. Yeah, you, have a, we you, had a, you had one of them boxes. You had a box, I had a, didn't you? I had, I had access to all the channels. So, um, yeah, I really get you, Quill. <laughs> so, um, we would do that. We, we partake and then we'd wind up here. <laughs> At the Little Ferry 7-Eleven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's actually the Little Ferry 7-Eleven, dude. It's still there. Yep. So there's the Little oh, Ferry 7-Eleven yeah. that we would wind up. We'd go there about, what, what would you say, 11? Midnight? Something yeah, like that? It usually, it usually, yeah, it wasn't too late because we were <laughs> we were so wacky to back eat out that we were just like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, walking in there, Cheech and Chonged up and fucking chiefed out and, you know, whatever, whatever verbiage you want to use for that. That's and when then, you uh, throw the throw the salad out the window and get the big bombs at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> we, we were getting we were getting. Oh, yeah, those things are crazy. Dude. We would we'd go into a food coma after. So it was always oh, yeah. an early night. Oh, yeah, always. it was always like, you know, watch. Watch Fear and Loathing, watch Willy Wonka, watch, uh, you know, all the classics and yeah. then freaking, you know, stuff our face with nachos and burritos. And then we're like, that was dead. our ambient, dude. Gone. That was our that was our ambient. Oh, yeah. We didn't need no fucking ambient. Get the fuck nope. out of here. Nope. So we did that for a while. But and, Goots, and the thing is, Goots wasn't Goots wasn't into that, though. So it was just you and me. That's the one thing is like, right. Goots was in the picture with you a lot, but he wasn't he wouldn't partake like that. And like Goodson you know, and Paul I think I think well we're doing others. <laughs> I think you know we're doing saying? a disservice, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this to you since you know he was your boy first and foremost, and that's how we all met each other. If not for goods, we would have never met each other. But you need to describe to our studio audience. <laughs> you need to describe goods, like uh, describe like a physical appearance, what he looks like, because I think people may misconstrue by his voice. Uh, sometimes our caricature of him. <laughs> You you got to describe him, bro. Jerry right, Curl so, and all. So take the head of Eastbound and out. You know that show. <laughs> that <laughs> take that perfect. head. Take that head. Put it on a dad bod <laughs> with a pot belly. Make all his limbs thick. Yeah, he was give, thick, dude. <laughs> give him a lot of charisma, a lot of attitude. Like you're putting a lot of your hip, a lot of your your points into your character, into charisma and strength and dexterity. But there's nothing, there's no points left over for intelligence, unfortunately. So, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> so there was no more but, points but, for uh, that. Yeah, some of the intelligence points went to the occasional, you know, Spanglish, because he did know yes. some Spanish. <laughs> yeah, he did. So sometimes he he'd the, turn into but, a Latino. But he was married to a Latina. <laughs> So I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he knew it. He was Here around comes the it. right? Oh yeah. He, so that means he had rice with every freaking meal. Yep, yep. But he was almost like Zartan from GI Joe. He could become whoever he was talking to. So whoever he was talking to, <laughs> he would take that on. So any <laughs> ethnicity, any uh, subject, anything, he would know everything about it and take it on. Even oh if everyone God. there knew, everyone knew he was lying. Most people would just let him say it, just whatever. I said, "Yeah, he's lying." If he talked, if he talked to someone Asian, did he like? Did he bow and like? No, no, that's where he drew a line for some reason. <laughs> he didn't do that. <laughs> All right, that's like Everything that that, uh, that Tom Segura, the Tom Segura Steven Seagal bit where he talks about. He's like, <laughs> he's like yeah, basically. Yeah. He basically racially appropriates to anybody that he comes across when he was pretending yes. to be a cop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I'm, I'm, hold, I'm holding you down, bro. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> exactly. So he was like that. Yeah, he was like that. But he, he did know some Spanish, though. So I was actually kind of impressed at his man. What was your first impression of him? I said what he was. Now, what, as another person first meeting him, what was your impression? Honest, honestly, I my impression was before because East Mountain Down wasn't out yet, so he did have you know it was kind of like 
Did he have it short on top? No, he was still curly on top, too. Dude, but he, he had, had like a, a backwards mullet. cap. He had a slight mullet, dude, when I first yeah, met him. So he, so he had the hockey he, he he had the hockey haircut. The freaking ape drape. <laughs> so like it was <laughs> yeah, kind of shorter on top, but I, <laughs> but his yeah. hair was draping down over his neck. It was yes. long in the back. Yes. Kind yes. kind of long. Not as long as yours, but no. So no. and then he would talk and I would just I would just I would just laugh at him because I'd be like Oh my God! Is this guy for real? <laughs> like, uh, keep in mind, so keep in mind, dude. also keep in mind that if you were a man and you shook his hand, you're getting your hand crushed. Shit, just realize that. Oh yeah, he's trying to crush your hand. Absolutely. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was oh, always yeah. like you know, like yeah. Every handshake yeah. was a dick measuring contest, and he refused to lose. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But listen, listen. Yeah, you but know dude, that. Wasn't he, wasn't he always wearing weightlifting pants too? The hammer pants. He did because they, that's I what felt like he was always wearing the hammer pants. <laughs> he he was tick. He was tick. <laughs> he was a tick guy. But uh, yeah, dude, we're, we're gonna been a snicker. <laughs> we would have. We'll no, be that's six it's hours, good. dude. It's, yeah, yeah, no, but I, I think I think we're doing a disservice because people need to understand this guy was a character and a half, like. You just, I didn't know what to think of him when I first saw him. I was like, this guy can't be for real. I was like, he has 20 different accents, and like, I've only talked to him for five minutes. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, and he called everybody goods. He called yeah. everybody goods. Yep. That's where That's it came why from. he's so goods. That, that's like, why we just stayed the fuck is goods. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, uh, so we didn't really start going out yet. But the other thing we like to do with each other yeah. was hitting the gym. So we started going to the gym together. Oh, so yeah. that's Gold's Gym in Totowa, New Jersey right there. I don't know if that's oh, still yeah. there, but that's that's the actual gym. That's where we'd go. So we dr we drive there, partake, go it in. It might still be there. That's a good question. Yeah. I don't know. I got to check it out. I haven't, been over I, them, I haven't been over to them parts in a while, but. That's a big, that was a big spot. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. So we'd go there like two, three times a week. Uh, we'd, we'd partake, then go, work out. Then we'd go get food, bring it back to your place, and wake up Pug and eat it in front of him because he didn't wake up and come with us. <laughs> <laughs> remember? We yep. didn't get him nothing. I don't remember getting him anything. No, no way. No. Nah. Nah, but we had just some good workouts, dude. Yes, exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you, I mean, you and me, you and me were crushing it back then. We were, we were definitely crushing it. Uh, the Atkins diet was the was was definitely the new rage. Yeah, it became my downfall <laughs> as well. <laughs> At one point, yeah. So it was basically. Uh, it was cool. So we were freaking protein like crazy and freaking lifting and. Freaking chiefing in the parking lot afterwards, which feels amazing after you freaking lift. It's just all the all the muscle relaxation benefits you get from CBD oil. That's like all my favorite parts of of it. All of my favorite parts right. of weed or whatever. And it's like we would feel that, and it is so good after you really put a good pump in and you smoke, and you're just like, oh man, I'm so chill now. Like you know, like let's get something to eat and just chillax and relax the rest of the day. So it always yes. worked out pretty well. Yeah, yeah, it was a perfect ending. Now, that went on for a while, and we just hang out, and then, then it happened. Then we found this place. Yep. Tequila Rest Joe's. Rest in peace to Tequila Joe's. <laughs> Rest in pieces. <laughs> that is, that yeah. is definitely not, that is definitely not there anymore. <laughs> No, no, it is not. Even I know that. <laughs> but uh, Leg it again, was legendary. Yes, it was, and that started a huge adventure. A huge adventure. Some of it, me and Tom separated for a bit. We always wound up back together, though. Always, always. And oh yeah, it's all love. Uh it's all uh, it's all family. It's all in the family. <laughs> so, That's right. um, 
So, yeah. And again, I don't want this first uh, episode to be 90 minutes. So we will definitely tell you stories about there. But we started going there um, and hanging out. We um, Now, we just hung out downstairs when we first started going there, right? We didn't really go upstairs because it was it was two vibes, right? I mean, well, the um, the real the real original was down the hatch because of my high school friend. That's where we really started going out. But I don't think we ever went with her. Oh, to, you mean to, to, boom, that place right Joe. there? You mean that joint? Yo! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yo! Where's the roaches on the freaking bar? Yeah, right. There's no roach. <laughs> Look right. how clean it is. That was like 70 years ago. Dude, they took that picture. <laughs> uh, now that place, you want to talk some nostalgia, dude. That, oh man. Guarana, Guarana getting Guarana cigarettes next well, to dude, the pink pussy cat. First of all, tell them why we would, we, we, well, we went to the, we used to go and hang out in the village on uh, the weekends as well. We would go there, and we'd go to Tequila yeah, so, Joe's. Yeah, but so East, origi- East Fourth is uh, it's it's East Fourth. That's where it was. The yes. I guess what Lower East Side. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So we and, would we would go there uh, and hop the we would hop the train all the time. We'd take the path in and uh, meet our yes. friends uh, from my friends from high school. And then she was hanging out with this chick and this other girl that ended up being my girlfriend. But all that kind of drama with that shit was crazy. Um, right. but it was tuned. like it Stay all just tuned. started yeah yeah those are some good stories but it was like it was really just going out and we're like wow this place plays great music like it's a it's in the like you have to walk into the it's a cellar like it's in, a basement. in the city yeah so it's, it's a not basement. you're looking you're looking up at yeah if you look out the windows you're looking up at street level and the craziest shit of all is right next to it in eyes wide shut one of my favorite directors of all times kubrick and eyes wide shut, Tom Cruise walks by freaking down the hatch. He walks by the pink pussy cap uh yep, freaking sex yep. shop, which was next which was next was door. Right. He actually walks by and I'm like, Holy shit! How many <laughs> yeah, freaking dude. joints how many joints did we fucking smoke <laughs> yeah. right there? A lot there. And dude, I saw it did. in the movie and we I did. remember just being like, Holy shit, yeah, dude, going there and like it was it was awesome getting purple motherfucker the drink the purple motherfucker <laughs> yeah. remember that yeah until it backfired then, that one night but that's another story stay tuned yeah yeah <laughs> red devils we were introduced to the red I was introduced to the red devil the purple motherfucker uh, all those drinks and yeah. uh, just hanging out and then then eventually tequila joe's we stayed more on our side of the river of the Hudson yeah. and yeah. Uh, in in Belleville New Jersey basically North Newark and uh, yeah that was. Then tequilas was a whole different thing because it was four atmospheres. So that when you walked in, there was a bar to the left and a bar to the right, and one would be karaoke, the other one was seventies, and then you go downstairs and it was like industrial metal, hardcore yeah. hip hop. They would play, they would play freaking uh, D- DMX. Oh yeah, that's right. how it looked from the street. Yep, that's the fucking <laughs> the wings, the wing. Yeah, see. The wings were fucking awesome at Down the Hatch. I always remember that. Those wings, there's a reason they advertised that shit on the city street, because it was legit. Like, pre-hooters, like, those wings were um, off the chain. They were, everybody loved those fucking wings. They were good. And then I was they in love good. with that freaking bar. What, what was that bartender, that waitress or bartender? Oh, oh. God, that gorgeous freaking blonde with the blue eyes. I don't remember her name, whatever. No, I, and hanging I, I, out I, with six L. Yeah, there's yes. a sixth element. You remember but, all but that? that yeah, so. We'll get into all yeah. that. We'll we'll definitely get yeah. into all that. But we spent so a that, lot of that, time there. That migrated to te- tequila, Joe. You should that mention really, also that, that we, you should also mention that we were with Pug at that time. Pug was with us at that time. Yeah, he was. He was yeah, a part Pug of all was, that. Uh, he definitely was. At first, he wasn't at Down the Hatch. At first, he wasn't. But eventually, he yeah, he came into the fold and he was coming yeah, with us. Like, dude, he, you got to come to this place. It's amazing. Because he fell in love, dude. And remember, he fell in love. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> but again, that's another oh, story. No. That's another story. Yeah, he but, went down the hatch. Yep. Yep. 
He went way down the hatch. So, um, we, um, <laughs> I don't want to get into it now. I don't want to get into the story now at all. Okay. And I don't even know what I'll tell of this story. <laughs> but there came a time finally when my presence was not allowed in Tequila Joe's anymore. Okay. So I wasn't allowed there anymore. And nope. um, there had been years where I wasn't allowed there. Years. I don't remember how long. I, I really don't. But it was Halloween, finally. We hadn't gone out together in a long time for whatever reason. And uh, and we were like, we need to go to Tequila Joe's for Halloween. And I'm like, dude, I haven't been back there since I've been, you know, disallowed from the place. <laughs> so you're like, you got blah, canceled. Blah, blah, blah. You're the first one to get canceled. <laughs> yeah, I was. So <laughs> we were like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, I'll be dressed up. Maybe they won't. Uh, anyway, we made it in. And we hung out to Tequila Joe's. I think that was my last time on Halloween. I don't know yeah, what I year that was. I don't remember what year that was. I can't remember. Well, judging by those obnoxious, obnoxious camo pants that I bought in some surplus store out right. in Pennsylvania that I never wore, um, that was definitely, I was married at that point. Yeah, yes. I was definitely married, so it's... It's somewhere, I want to say or, uh, 2000 and, no, not married. Maybe I wasn't, no, actually, I might not have been married yet. No, I got married. It was before, it was before Tori was born, but I was with her mother, so my, my ex-wife. Right. So that had to be 2004, five, something like that. Maybe somewhere around there. Something like that. Something like that. <clears throat> it's got to um, be, because you didn't, because if you left. If you left for Arizona in 07, then then that had to be like a couple years before before you left. Yeah. Oh no, no, that was because I, I was dating my wife at the time. And, and um, you were in Montclair, weren't you? Weren't you in Montclair? During that time? No. I was still in and I was still no? in Lodi. I was in Lodi. Come oh, on. Shit. Come on. Okay. The Lodi apartment. Yep. I was there. Glenn so, Danzig so. and Lodi. Yep. So I was there, and then we went to Montclair for a year, a year and a half, two years. I I, I can't remember how long, but mm. I when we when uh, we were when I proposed to her, we knew that we were going to be leaving New Jersey at that time, like we were going to leave after we got married. But that wasn't going to stop my boys from throwing me a little bachelor party <laughs> before. My way. <laughs> so um, that's guts in the middle. <laughs> uh, you know, to protect the innocent. <laughs> He's not, you don't see his the face. Names have been, the names have not really been changed to protect the not so innocent. Right. Uh, but yeah, so that was in the limo when we were going to my um, bachelor party. Uh, so who was there? Who was there? Um, who was there, dude? Obviously, goods. Uh, catch, catching flies. Uh, <laughs> That's gonna be a whole nother thing uh, as well. <laughs> catching flies. Yeah, that was catch that was fly. his nickname. So he will be. <laughs> yeah, you know, catching flies. Uh, uh, I think we, <laughs> no matter uh, what maybe you Maybe we said, should smoke. Uh, yeah, that was his answer to everything. We'll call uh, him. We'll just call him catching flies. His name will be Catching Flies. Yeah, Catching Flies. Every, every, everybody knows him from that part, those yep. parts where he's from, because he was out west towards PA, like in Jersey, but in the in the cornfields of Jersey, mm -hmm. and everyone used to call him Catching Flies. <laughs> <laughs> Catching <you> that. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. So um, so obviously after that I got married, and uh, Tom was in the wedding, and we did a whole like twenties vibe. With the wedding, which was cool. We were in an old theater. And, uh, yeah, aside from the Zoot uh, Suits, that was a lot of fun, dude. It wasn't like a normal wedding, so it was fun. I still, I still, I'm not gonna lie, I still kind of want a Zoot Suit. Ever yeah, since your dude, wedding, right? I've always wanted one. 
I really want to buy hell. one just to fuck with. Hell yeah, with the wallet chain, dude. Yeah, we used to rock wallet chains all the time in our jeans, in our Jankos. Yeah. In our kickwear. Yeah, yes, sir. Um, yeah, so, that was awesome. Uh, and do you remember when I got a picture for you? I want to see if you remember when this is from. No. <laughs> my first board, my first board. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, 2006. Will be 17 in August. Isn't that insane, dude? It is. And my son will be 14. Yeah. In just a couple yeah, months. Yeah, he's a little behind her, but yeah. Fre freshman Crazy. in high school, dude. Freshman in high school. That's nuts. Yeah, best of luck to him. <laughs> yeah. God high bless him. High school's God a lot bless of, him. Yeah, a lot of awkwardness. A lot yeah, of awkwardness yes, in that shit. But, Especially when but you were us. a lot of fun, too. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> you want to talk awkward? That was when us. I was in, when I was in high school, it went, once I was... I moved... My thing that sucked for me was I moved away from my freshman year. So when I moved, my mom moved us back because we hated it. And we moved back to our hometown. Then shit was fucking awesome because it was just like... When you're in your element, everyone already knew, like, Tom's a metalhead, you know, rocking Doors t-shirts and freaking, you know, all kinds of Metallica yep. shirts and stuff, Mega shirts. So it's like, you know, once you're in your element and everyone, you know, Pantera came out, like, everyone was fucking crazy for Pantera. Yeah. Like, it was, high school was really fun because you're in your niche, man. But like, exactly. the school I had moved to, not knowing anybody, it kind of sucked. Like, it, it's a sucky thing. So if he's got his friends around him, he's going to have a good-ass time, man. Just yeah, have absolutely. fun with it. Absolutely. And so, remember, yeah. and never be embarrassed because those motherfuckers, I'll never forget it. Fucking when you're older, yeah. no one's yeah. going to fucking, no, they'll, you're, you'll never forget the good times and all the bad times you think people are going to remember forever. They won't. They're not going to give a fuck. Amen. You know I mean? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now I wound up That's right awesome. after my wedding. Three months later, I, I, I moved away. So me and Tom really don't get to see each other much. He does. He did come out and visit. Remember this? At the jail oh, in yeah. Arizona. So uh, he has come out and visit twice, I believe, right? Actually, you were yeah, here twice, when yeah. I announced that uh, we were having my son. You were here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That was on yeah. that trip. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And nobody got the joke yeah, when, when I said it. Nobody got it because I had, of course, make a joke and see if people got it. Do you remember what I said? Um, no, because I was probably very uh, inebriated. Out. Yeah, <laughs> the whole nine yards, probably. Uh, I I said I got an announcement to make. I'm excited yeah. that next year on my taxes, I'm going to get a bigger rebate. <laughs> <laughs> and I was I. Oh, I, I I would think that you would have said I just saved fifteen percent on my car insurance, car insurance by switching fine. to Geico. <laughs> exactly. That would have been that would have been <laughs> that would have been even better. But that's that been, been, yeah, yeah. But I, I wanted them. To, I didn't just want the joke. I wanted them to have to think a little bit <laughs> and be like, "Does that mean something?" Because yeah. then people started going, "Wait, are you? Huh? What?" And then everybody realized what it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. What's his parents? I don't oh, know. What his parents? I, I, I try to figure it out. Are you serious? I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. Please, please. I it don't turns understand. into a bug. <laughs> so uh, I don't get it. It turns into a bug. So uh, yeah. Name so that I, movie. You got me. What is it? Movie trivia. What is it? Uh, big, big. When he's like, "All right, so the the building turns into a bug," and then Tom Hanks like, "I don't get it." He's like, "I don't get it. I don't get it." It's oh, yes. my bug. Remember? <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, yes. yes. The, the, the dad, the dad from Home Alone. He he's a fucking asshole. Yep, yep, yep. I do yeah, remember right anyway. now. Yeah. Um, got to do so, the movie trivia. Staple oh, of the show. Yeah, it's gonna be all through this, man. It's gonna be all through this. 
So, uh, I had this old podcast. I wanted to start doing something again. We don't, me and Tom don't nearly get to hang out more enough. I mean, in person, forget it. But even on this, we really never hung out on it. So we thought, why not use it to hang out and talk about the things we like? And people always seem to enjoy it. So give it a shot. Let's put it out there. And I'll give out some information in the in the process. Maybe, maybe it'll help a few people. Who knows? I hope so. But we'll see. Either way, you're going to laugh. That's the way I look at it. So if you're tired of everything, you're tired of all the crap, and you want to just laugh, subscribe. Click the buttons. Wherever they are, whatever we're on, whatever it is there, hit it. And check us out next week. We'll have a full-on format next week. But if any of this interests you, there'll be plenty more stories, plenty more facts, plenty more fitness, plenty more health, plenty more pop culture. Hell, you, honestly, you just want to laugh. No crap here. Check us out. But we'll be back next week. We'll see you then. Have a good one, y'all.